Let's go. And we will see. Hello and welcome to your lab boy today. Today is a special saint's day. Today is Saint Matthew's day. That's Saint Matthew the Apostle. Saint Matthew, hitherto tax collector, become the apostle. And as we commemorate Saint Matthew's day, we come to you with your lab boy today, assuring you that God has not given up upon you. If God did not give up on Matthew, a tax collector, to the extent that he became an apostle, then he hasn't given up on you and he can use you for his glory. Let's go read from the scripture straight away today. And you know, if it's a saint's day and we're talking about an apostle, most probably it will be either from the Acts of the Apostles or from the Gospel. But today is from one of the Synoptic Gospels and the first listed in the scriptures in the New Testament. That's the gospel according to St. Matthew. We'll be reading from the ninth chapter, and our reading will also be taken off from the ninth verse of that ninth chapter. Let's go now. As Jesus passed on from there, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat down with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. This is a very, very interesting story of how Jesus numbered St. Matthew, whom we celebrate today, today being a saint's day and St. Matthew's day, amongst the apostles, how he became numbered amongst the disciples, how he was sitting at the tax table as a tax collector. There is no big deal being a tax collector. There was no big deal at that time being a tax collector. There is no big deal doing any job at all. The big deal is how have you been doing that job? And the tax collectors of the times of that Roman Empire were very corrupt. They would tax you more than you ought to have been taxed and give to the Roman government what they truly assumed would be your assessment and expectation by the Roman government and then they will pocket the rest so that they were filthily rich. That was the way they carried on their own business of tax collecting. And that was why when people saw Jesus Christ at table with him, when people saw that Jesus even spoke with him at all, and interestingly, he listened to Jesus, he obeyed Jesus, and he followed, and he became a disciple. People were amazed. They were surprised. And they had to ask the rest of the disciples, are these the kind of people you want to gather together for your own ministry? Now I need to let you know today, what kind of job are you doing? I have a friend, 
I will say I had a friend because I'm no longer in touch with him. So I'm not even sure I can reach him. So I can show this to him so that he can know that I still remember him. He was a police officer. He was a pastor in the church where I was also pastoring at a point in time quite a while ago now. And he was so passionate for the work of God. You would know. And I know the heavens will testify to the fact that this was a Nigerian police officer who was truly a child of God, who must still be a pastor, at least I knew him as a pastor as, as at that time, and was doing the work of the Lord. So if God could, in those days, call a tax collector, the most corrupt of all offices that anybody could be at that time, and if God could call a policeman, one of the most corrupt offices that anybody could op occupy in Nigeria today. And if God could call this man speaking with you, a politician, and you know that the ranks of politicians is so messy with a lot of, excuse me, a lot of corruption and a lot of cultism and a lot of evil. And if God could call me, then God has not given up on you and he's ready to call you into his service so that you can also be a good child of God and lead others to Christ. That is the business of God. That is the business of Jesus Christ. And he explained it there too, that he had not come just to celebrate those who are already saints, but he had come to lead those who are not yet saved into the kingdom of God. And that is the call that I also carry upon me right now. And that is the call that I'm extending to you right, right now. That is the call upon which I'm sending an invitation to you right now. That you need to also give your life to Christ. God has not given up on you. No matter what sins you had committed in times past. Perhaps the worst sin you could have committed was that you killed a human being. Or you killed many people. Beyond death, I don't know what else that you could have done that could be that evil. That you will now think that God cannot call you. Paul, the apostle, killed so many people. And God called him. So God is ready to call you today. So are you set for that call? That is a major question for you. Are you ready to give your life to him and to his service? Okay, if you are, now you are wondering, so how do you go about it? I'm here to lead you to come into that fold of Christ. I'm here to let you know that not, God not giving up on you is because he wants to use you for this season. And if you are set for that experience of giving your life to Christ right now, all you need to do is just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I thank you for this message, assuring me that you have never given up on me. Therefore, I am so excited. I'm so happy to yield my life to you. Have mercy upon me, a sinner all my life. But from today, as I yield myself completely unto you, I pray that you also open your arms and Welcome me completely. Accept me as one of yours as I accept you as Lord and Savior. From today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. If you just said that prayer pronto, that's it. You are now a child of God. Congratulations. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. Join us in the Anglican Church, Oroki Estate Extension. For now, we still worship in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Midland High Schools, Oyiko and Gokiumi Bodden Drive, Oroki Estate Extension, Ushobo. You can join us every Tuesday for our midweek services, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon. Or if it's on Sunday, you want to join us 9 o'clock in the morning, do join us. And you can still join us for now in making sure that our place of worship, a physical church building, purpose built, is set for the use of the kingdom. So look at the bank account details on the screen. Drop something therein and the Lord will bless you as you do that. And as you go out today, this St. Matthew's Day, say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, merciful Father, please save my soul. Restore my heart to seek the lost. And give me the grace to bring many more who have not given up on you into the kingdom. I pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So go out today and see what you can do to tell somebody else that God has not given up on him. God bless you.
Say 